Now, for a long time, polo has been deemed as a game reserved for the wealthy. However, according to Ashe Alhualia, a renowned Kenyan polo player, anyone interested should simply be capable of riding a horse or at least to be willing to learn. Our reporter Zipora Karani tells us more. The horses getting ready for a polo game at the Manyata Polo Club in Gilgil. The texture and smooth backs of the horses is deceptive of the rigorous event ahead of it. It is a fast and sometimes dangerous sport not meant for the light-hearted. Each chuka is seven minutes to tackle, but on this day it was an international match and therefore was a five chuka game. Ashe Alualia disapproves the mindset that polo is not actually an elitist sport. And polo in Kenya is actually um, probably one of the cheapest places in the world to play because um, the horses are not that expensive off the racetrack as in other countries and also um, uh, livery or stabling is not as expensive, you know. Um, and it, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg basically like it does in uh, countries like in Europe or in the UK and um, other countries like that. The Gilgil tournament has attracted the visiting lady side from Zambia, which will be playing for three days against Kenya B select side. Training a horse for this kind of sport takes some time, but the expensive part of it is confirmed by the fact that a house only plays one chuka, meaning a team needs to have invested in more horses. Reason you normally need to change a horse after every chuka especially if it's a good quality polo it's uh, essential that you um, uh, rest the horse and then get onto another horse and you need at least five or six horses in your string yeah. visitors uh, have to be given good horses because they they're at a disadvantage they're playing in a different country in a different uh, field and they're not used to certain conditions so we've really got to try and give them uh, the best horses we can then how is game of polo played the highest handicap in the country is uh, four girls. It's uh, it's a bit like uh, well, it's actually opposite to golf. The the higher the handicap, the better the player, and, and the handicap starts at minus two, and the highest is is ten. Um, there's a, only a handful of ten goal players in the world, and most of them are from Argentina. There are currently 100 polo players in the country, but the number is set to increase since many people are beginning to appreciate the sport. I think the future is very bright because we've got a lot of, um, like I said, a lot of uh, up-and-coming uh, uh, interest in, in, the, in the game. A lot of Kenyans uh, taking up the game as well. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it is an expensive sport, but there's um, a lot of um, talent involved. It's, not, it's, you know, it's like chess on horseback. There's um, a, a, lot, a lot that happens. There. You've got to think about a lot of your moves and shots and uh, read the game. Uh, and um, it's also hand-eye coordination. It's riding ability. Um, there's a lot of factors that take place. So uh, I think, I think it's, it's on an upward trend in this country. Most of the horses in Kenya are basically off the racetrack for a couple of years and are taken over to polo and schooled into game of polo and some of the horses are even imported from South Africa. Zipporah Karani reporting for KTN from the county of Nakuru.